Did you know that the world's first Rapala was carved out of cork and the outside was wrapped in a chocolate candy bar wrapper? True stuff. Did you also know that the inside of a Kit Kat is made with crushed up Kit Kat? Right at the edge. There it goes. A lot of times I feel like you'll have you'll have trout bump it. And we've seen it ice fishing. Bump it with their mouth shut. Like they're just trying to injure it. And you feel it bump bump. It's almost like you're hitting rocks, but it just feels a little different. Let's see if we can't get them to hit again. Yep. Oh, right there. He's big. He just, he, he lost it and came back after it. Oh, that was awesome. That was so cool. Are you fitting this net, huh? I would like to get a picture of you. He hit it. I had, well, or a fish hit it. I had him on. He got off. And then this one came up and hit it at my feet. Beautiful male. I'm going to say he's... 18. That's my guess. He's long. We'll save the measurements for the real big ones, but beautiful fish. I mean, that's kind of what we're looking for. A little bit bigger would be nice, but fun, fun, fun. The way you hit. Love it. All right. Is there another upstream? And then we'll work down. Yep. Wow. This one's bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> this is the 20. This is way over 20. Just hammered it. Fat, fat. I am not going to fit this thing in the net. What am I doing carrying this baby net? Probably because I lost my good one. Just muscle. Just muscle. Just mu I can't do anything. He just pulls and I just let him pull. That's just weight right there. Going upstream. Come on in, I'll release you. Six pound test. You want six pound, if you use eight pound, your rappel is not gonna go down. It's not gonna run the same. Use four pound, you're gonna get broke off. Six pound, mono is a great is a great Rapala, trout fishing, perch, trolling perch, walleye. Oh, cramping up. Are you tired yet? I mean, I'm tired. Such strong fish. Look at that, guys. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do with our baby net. I bought it in a pinch, all right? Uh, he's not gonna fit in there. I bought it in a pinch because I lost my good one. Yeah, oh yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Everybody's gonna be just fine. Oh my word. Look at that fish. So fat. All right, hey, 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 you're fine. I can measure you in the net. Bump, 20, 20 and three quarters, guys. 20 and three quarter inches. That's a beautiful fish. So amazing. Oh, what a fight. 20, and what was it again? Gorgeous fish. The color, those dots on top. Yeah, you ready to go? Whew. That was amazing. 
that fish fought and fought and fought. What a battle on the Rapala minus the candy wrapper. Well, I came up, I came out here to start working downstream, made a few casts upstream and I've had a fish every cast. Reeling it pretty quick, making them chase. Especially going with the current, you gotta be, you gotta be cranking pretty fast. You can see how fast my hands are going here. There we go. Up there in that shallow current again. Not as big as the last one, but a very nice fish nonetheless. Let's see if we can get it. Oh yeah. Look at the color. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous male. As we, uh, I mean, we're not, it's still fall, almost winter, so it's not spawning yet. But the males start to turn bright color this time of year and into winter before the spawn. So that's why these guys are just getting lights out gorgeous. I'm not gonna net them, I'm just gonna lift them and show them to you and then release them. I mean, he's probably 19. He's just not as thick as that other one. I, oh. I don't know. He keeps. He looks better and better though as he gets. Wow. Unreal. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. It's just. It's just stunning. Just a stunning fish. Just a quick measurement on you. 19. Nothing to be ashamed about, that's for sure. At least around here. Hey Siri, is it windy out today? No, I don't think it's going to be windy today. Hey Siri, have you ever been outside before? Not windy. I'm not sure I understand. Oh boy. Oh man. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. He keeps swimming at me here, to, real quick. Oh man, he is strong. This is another big one. Look at the scenery. My rod tip bent in front of incredible scenery. It doesn't get much better. Let's see if we can get a good look at him. Oh man. The drag is getting a workout today. This reel was given to me by, father, by my father-in-law uh, maybe 10 years ago. And this is my dad's old St. Croix, probably 30, 40, look at this fish. This is unbelievable. 30, 40 years old. It's my favorite setup by far and obviously it's got sentimental value. I mean, I don't think this one's as big as the last two, but he is just angry. We totally interrupted his day and he is not happy about it. He can't believe he fell for it. Another gorgeous, big, probably 19 inch, 20 inch fish. That's a fish. I thought it was weeds again. Not very big. <laughs> oh, he got off, but oh my gosh, that was so cool. My rapper was running wonky because weeds got on it. It was ran up on its side and that fish came out of the dark and just hammered it. Oh, wish we could have got him in, but that was fun. That was fun to see. Had to come get out of the wind to do my wrap up because even though Siri says it's not windy, it is windy. I would love to keep fishing, but it's tough. It's tough filming in the wind, that's for sure. For you guys to have to listen to it. For me to have to listen to it. Anyways, here's 
my rule of thumb for fishing big trout with rapalas like this there's a weed growth that happens in the summer as the water temps cool off we get a little bit less daylight the weeds start to die off once the weeds die off then the rapalas are on fire especially if you have a, a river like this one that's got a forage base that's minnows and crayfish you can really catch a lot of fish today i mean i don't know how many we caught lots didn't have the camera on for quite a few just because don't have enough battery to film every fish i think we caught most of the big ones on camera though that's good but hey i really appreciate you watching it's been a, a great day you could be doing a lot of other things but watching me catch fish for some reason you did it we're in it together all right thanks for watching guys until next time this is Old Hat Outdoors.